am Adrian, and welcome to Kiwi's Crochet Corner. Um, if you are new to my channel, um, I usually do yarn and crochet content. Occasionally, I'll talk a little bit about knit. Some haven't finished or some haven't figured out how to do that yet, but I'm, I'm working on it. Um, and if you're not new to my channel and you've been watching for a while, thanks for coming in. Uh, thanks for, you know, keeping up with my channel. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Hey guys, um, so I just wanted to pop on here for a few minutes and tell Miss Beverly thank you for her awesome happy mail. Um, she sent me, um, this book by Sarah Abundio. I'm sure I butchered that last name. Um, it's called Mini Amagurumi Birds, 25 Tiny Flying Creatures to Crochet. There it is. They're so cute. I'm going to make some of these up for the craft market that I have planned in October, which, fingers crossed, I'll be able to get to. Um, this book is so cute. Look at all these birds, guys. There is a cockatoo, there is a penguin, um, looks like a hummingbird, an owl, um, this one I believe is a puff, a, a, a puffin penguin maybe? I think that one's an emperor, I'm not sure, I'd have to, there's a chicken, a toucan, um, so many cute little birds in this book, um, let me see. There is also a macaw. Here you go. Here's a picture of all of the little birds that are in this book. Um, I'm going to have to make at least one of each of them. Um, this is too cool. There's an ostrich. Uh, there's an emu. This is the cutest little book. You guys know I love birds of all shapes and sizes. I keep trying to convince my dad to let me have a a couple of emu, and he's just not having it. He says they smell, and I probably I don't care to go outside. So I mean, I <laughs> I'd go outside, but I probably wouldn't spend too too much time with them. Um, here's a cute little idea for a little bird mobile. That is cool. Um. A little chick, a little baby chick, right there. Um, oh, and, and an egg, the egg as well. Oh, and there's a bat, an eagle, a swan, an owl. So there's actually a bat in here, which is pretty cool. Um, I guess that's why it's called flying creatures. But most of them are birds, and these, um, these patterns are actually small enough. I guess I could make them into little keychains. Um, I've never made any crochet keychains, but I might give it a go. Um, so the other thing that she sent me is um, some of this Golo yarn. Um, I've had this before. Um, I'm pretty sure she found it on uh, my Amazon wish list. Uh, this is uh, I'm not I'm not really sure how many people are familiar with the Golo yarn. Um, but I came at, came across it a long time uh, a long time ago on Amazon. Um, this color is color number five, and there are 550 yards in this. You can see it is like a weight one. Um, very 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 thin. Um, recommended uh, knitting needle is two millimeters which I imagine would probably be about the same for uh, for a crochet hook now these this yarn is super soft guys if you haven't checked it out before I will put um, in the description box below uh, links to where you can get both of these items the book and the yarn and I have to say Miss Beverly if you're watching thank you thank you thank you so much that is awesome and I am definitely going to put this book to use like this is awesome thank you so much um i'm gonna let you guys go um i hope you guys all have a wonderful evening
Bye, guys. Thank you.